about the little special day and what yeah. he was able to do. Just proud of him playing so efficient, playing tough, and uh, you know being able to bounce back and go have the day that he had was was great. Jeff, you had a great night tonight, and you had so many different things going. You got the tight end going too. Talk about you know how you opened up the offense tonight and was able to take advantage of. It. Yeah, guys just were incredibly efficient, played really, really well, uh, took great care of the ball, didn't have many um, non-playing penalties, really just had the one besides the uh, unsportsmanlike there late. But uh, again, we played clean football, and that's that's what we needed, and glad we were able to get it done. Was the tight end just in the offense, or did you see something they were doing that you thought the tight end? Yeah, felt like he had an opportunity to have a, have a good day, you know, had some things last week where he had a chance to have a good day and didn't work the way we wanted but um, you know was proud of him for just continuing to play and was good to have. Jeff, how much do you hear the criticism from the Kansas week and the Oklahoma State week? When you, when you have a bad week calling the game or whatever, personnel-wise or whatever, how much do you hear that? Stuff? Yeah, I, I don't. You know, and again, I think somebody asked me about it last week after the game, but that noise has no effect on my day-to-day. It takes none of my my focus, my energy, my joy, what I'm trying to get done with with our unit and our guys every single day. So, uh, really, not not a part of it. Feel like you had a better day today? I'm yeah, I, I felt like we were we were clean, we were efficient, and took care of the football and didn't have penalties. Gives you a chance to, you know, do what you want to do. How much has Drake kind of just become a pillar in this offense? Yeah, he's played his butt off. It's just an. You know, again, it's a credit to who he is, his operation, and how he goes about it every single day. And uh, just so proud that, man, he has an opportunity to go play the way he played tonight, have the production that he has, and that's matching, you know, his uh, his focus and his intensity and and how he goes about it, which is is fun. But as a play caller, you know, feeling like I can lead him. Yeah, he's just he's going to make things right. Kevin's kind of still a young running back in terms of reps, games played after last year, but it seems like he's really growing the confidence and, and running really well. He had three runs at least 24 yards tonight. Yeah. Talk about just how he's grown in that process and where he's at right now. Yeah, he's he's hitting his stride. He's played well, you know, the last few weeks, which has been really good for him and, and for us being able to go run the football. Going to need him again as we go on the road next week, but proud of him just, man, staying the course and, and trusting himself, being who he is, but getting into really good shape, football playing shape, game shape, which is taking taking some time with, with his injuries early, but again, proud of uh, how he's played. How is uh, the running element that Dylan's given you the last couple of weeks kind of open things up as, as a play caller for you? Yeah, he's, he's done a nice job when we've needed him to, and he's done a nice job in the pocket when he's needed to get out and, and make a couple plays or get the ball out of his hand and not take early down sacks, negatives, things like that. So um, he's, he's done a really good job when he's, when he's needed to with his feet. Was his running available last week? Yeah. Is that something you'd yep. rather take out of the game plan? Last no, week? he was. Uh, he there was no issues with him. There was a lot of talk this week about how this team was going to respond, especially the offense. I mean, how do you feel? About, what does this say about your group to come out performing the way they did after the last? Two weeks? Again, for our guys, it was not to overcomplicate things. Yeah. Take care of the football and don't have non-playing penalties. Like you do those two things, we've been pretty clean, pretty efficient. You let those creep into your game, you have issues and you leave things to chance. And it's, again, it's not complicated. You said, Jeff, you said you don't, um, you don't take things personal. Sometimes quarterback younger guys do. Were you pleased for Dylan to be able to respond the way he did specifically to I'm, the last I'm, two weeks? Yeah, I'm just pleased that he's been able to continue to to me get better every single week you know and it hadn't always been perfect on game day you know but again today played his butt off um, was an incredible leader uh, with his toughness and his attitude in the building all week which you know needed that and knew he would be but at the same time going through it and then him being able to play the way he played tonight to me is a credit to the week that he had. Well, so that you found him on the field eventually after the game and yeah. had a nice moment with him. What was your message? Just proud of him man happy for him and again just as as you get on the back end of this this season, right, and there's this ending stretch, we've got so much history together. You know, you want so much for him to be able to finish the way we need to go finish one week at a time and getting it done the way we, we know we have the ability to. And so for him to play the way he played tonight, for us to respond the way we responded was was really good and a, a good step as we go on the road next week. Is that going to mean to you long term knowing that one of your guys set the school record for eight touchdowns in one game? You know, again, standing here right now, it's just all about how he played tonight. And um, 
man, putting us in position to have a ton of success, move the football, be efficient, play clean. Uh, that, that to me, is what it's all about as we get ready to try to go get another one next weekend. I know the part of tonight is, in my opinion, was the play of Jake Sexton going in for Tyler Guy. Can you talk about how he played? Yeah, I played tough. You know, we'll get back and we'll watch the tape, but the thing that you love about Jacob is he'll, he'll die for us, man. He'll go out and he'll play. Uh, play so hard every single snap that'll give us a chance to to get it done you know and it's not going to be perfect but uh, that kid will put it on the line and that uh, that's what we love Brent talks about the importance of trying to keep Jackson at four games can you talk about your just your opinion of that looking at the future of the program yeah I think that's the right thing without a doubt you know as you get into those situations you know if, if we need Jackson to play he's going to play uh, whether it's a situational call or whether it's a situation where we need him on the field long term. Uh, but you don't want to be in a situation where we were at tonight and that be the reason that he you know, does not have the year. Uh, so that was the conversation, and that's, that's the way it, way it went. I know you said you don't listen to criticisms and everything like that, but you know, everyone thinks they're an expert on play calling and they could, they could do it. What? Just give us a look at kind of what the job sort of entails. And do you ever just wish anyone could see what it's kind of actually like during a game? No, I, I'm pretty thankful to, to be doing what I'm doing. I think perspective is very real. Um, I feel like I've got a good one from the standpoint of loving what I do every single day, getting to chase it with my guys every single day and this staff. So, um, you know, I. All I'm trying to do is find ways to, to be plus one at the end of the day, put our guys in positions of success, and uh, and focus on that. You said you don't, you don't listen to the criticism. Neil Brown actually gave you a big compliment tonight. Said you're one of the best offensive play callers. What the thing is, do you listen to the praise as well? Does that mean anything to you? I, I wouldn't have seen it if you wouldn't have said it. So, uh, but we got a ton of respect for him and what he's done, who he is, and uh, he, he's done a great job everywhere he's been, and he's got a tough football team right now. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Yeah.